About 80 miles east of Houston, which is the nation's fourth largest city, Harvey also battered Beaumont, Texas, population 120,000. The city's among the hardest hit in the state. For the latest on the situation on the ground, I'm joined now by phone by Beaumont uh, Police Chief James Singletary. Chief, thanks for joining us. I got to ask first about the water situation. Uh, last, late last week, the, uh, the water uh, plant shut down because of uh, being swamped by flood water and uh, backup pumps went down. What's the situation now? The water situation now is that we're getting water slowly but surely uh, back to, uh, to most of our citizens. We've had, it's a, it'd be a totally a different interview uh, to, to, to tell you how that happened. Uh, we, had, we had some private ind industries and some uh, uh, and working with our water, water folks and, and getting it restored. So that in itself is an amazing story. Uh, but uh, we're, we're slowly but surely getting water restored. But it's going to be a while before we're going to lift the uh, ball water notice right now. So uh, people, everyone in the town, in the city still has, has, has running water now, is that right? Not everybody, but most of them uh, do, and, and it's trickling right now in some places, and some of them are, uh, you know, are better than others. What about other conditions, Chief? Has the water started to recede yet? Yes, sir. The water has started to recede. Uh, we have a, 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 a very big river here next to uh, Beaumont, Natchez River, and it's, it's starting to recede a little bit. It crested a couple of days ago, I think. Uh, uh, so the water is starting to recede. There's still about 3,000 homes that we have not been able to, to get to to, uh, uh, to see uh, what their situation is. We've done a bunch of flyovers uh, with the drones and the helicopters, and gosh, it's, 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 it's horrific. I've lived here my whole life, and I've been a cop for you know, my whole adult life, and I've never seen anything like this. Chief, have people been able to go get back to their homes? You say the water is going down. Have they been able to get back to their homes yet, or is that still a little bit away? Yeah, that's, that's still a bit away. There's some areas that we can't even uh, access, and it'll be a while before some citizens uh, are able to get back to their homes. And then there's areas north of us and uh, uh, east of us and even south of us that are in pretty bad shape also. But it's going to be a while. This, is gonna, this, this thing has, has impacted us, this, this area, for, for years to come, I'm afraid, in so many different areas. Chief, I got to ask you. I mean, you you and your force are not only working this uh, this disaster; you're you're living through it. I mean, imagine some of your uh, the, some of the homes that some of your force uh, have been affected by this. What's that been like for you for you, for the for the men and women of your police department? Well, that's another horrible thing that's happened to our officers and, and our city workers. Uh, we've had over 130 of our. our Bowman's first responders, the firefighters and, and police officers and, and emergency personnel that have been uh, uh, adversely affected or actually significant damage to their home. And so, most of these officers, and this is what's amazing, this is why I love these guys, most of these officers are here working and they, 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 they have no idea how bad their homes are destroyed or how bad, badly their homes are damaged, but they're here working. And it's Man, it makes you feel great if, you're, uh, if you live here in Beaumont, especially if you're the chief of police. Chief James Singletary of Beaumont, we're glad to hear things are getting better, and uh, we appreciate your work, your department's work, and our thoughts are with you. You got it. Thank you very much.